Diving into number 19, this is going to be a classic one, and that is the sine and cosine relationship uh, with complementary angles. So the easiest way to kind of memorize this one, to ever bring it up if you forget it, is just draw a nice uh, right triangle. And we'll just label the sides 3, 4, and 5. Remember, you know, one of our special triangles, if we do Pythagorean's theorem there, it's going to work. And let's just take the sine of one of our angles, right? We'll call this A and this guy B. And we'll say, okay, sine of A. And remember, our Sokotoa rules. Sine of A is going to equal my opposite over my hypotenuse. So it's going to be four fifths. And then I say, okay, what about the cosine of B, right? The cosine of my complementary angle. And that's going to be my adjacent over my hypotenuse, which is also going to be equal to four fifths. So all this, this triangle kind of helps us uh, remember is anytime we see this like, hey, here's a sine of this angle, here's a cosine of another angle, a lot of times you'll see them say 90 minus x. They're actually just demonstrating the relationship between sine and cosine with complementary angles, angles that add up to 90, right? So again, in our, our little right triangle here, if this is 90, then A and B have to also add up to 90, right? So no matter what I make A, if I make A 30, B is going to be 60. If I take the sine of one, it's always going to be the co cosine of the other angle. And let's look at their example, right? They say sine of X is going to be four fifths. So say X is 30 degrees, cosine of 90 minus X. So that's going to be cosine of 90 minus 30 or cosine of 60. So we just demonstrated that again, sine of 30 and cosine of 60 should be the same thing according to our little right triangle. And yeah, that's it. So again, if sine of X is equal to four fifths, cosine of 60 should also be equal to four fifths. I've also seen questions like this where uh, the answer will also be zero because they'll say something like sine of X equals four fifths subtracting cosine of 60, which would also be fourth fifths, which would get a zero. But yeah, that's it for these rules.